Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'll be discussing about Master's Education Abroad. I'm Jay Surya, I'm a study abroad advisor and a career coach. I've been helping a lot of students get into master's programs across US, UK, Canada, Australia, etc. In this particular video, we'll be discussing about the famous Master's in Engineering Management degree. Now, what is Engineering Management? In the USA, Engineering Management programs were started to address the widening gap between core engineering teams and core management teams to bring in a new breed of workforce called the techno managers. Now, MEM programs impart leadership and managerial skills to core engineering or science graduates. Now, many aspirants ask me questions such as, how is an MEM different from an MBA or should I pursue an MEM or an MBA? See, MEM and MBA have a few things in common. They offer core courses in finance, operations, marketing, etc. But you can only apply to an MEM degree if you are from a STEM background. That is, if you have undergrad degree in either science, technology, engineering or mathematics, only then you can apply for an MEM degree. Whereas to an MBA, you can apply from non-STEM background as well. For example, law, humanities, medicine, etc. Now, one major difference between MBA and MEM is that in Western countries, MBA is designed for mid-career professionals. That is professionals with five and above years of work experience. Whereas an MEA is designed for early career professionals. That is professionals with zero to five years of work experience. Another major difference is in job outcomes. Majority of MEM graduates work in tech or engineering companies post-graduation. Whereas majority of MBA graduates work in non-tech or non-engineering companies post-graduation. Now let's look at the typical MEM curriculum. An MEM program is about one to one and a half years long. The curriculum offers core courses in operations management, statistics, finance or economics, corporate strategy, marketing, etc. But the highlight aspect is MEM programs let you specialize in different areas such as data analytics, supply chain management, entrepreneurship, product management, etc. As part of the curriculum, you have to also pursue something called a capstone project where you are given real life project experience, which you could make part of your resume when you're applying for jobs. And many programs encourage and guide you in applying for summer internships across top engineering and tech companies in the USA. Now, the big question, how are the job opportunities post-graduation? The typical job roles that engineering management graduates pursue post-graduation are displayed here. These job roles include product and project managers, um, you know, uh, supply chain analysts, business analysts, financial analysts, um, application and sales engineers, tech consulting, etc, etc. And they find job opportunities across various industries and some example industries are given here. Now, these include pharmaceutical industries, obviously the IT industry, um, you know, FMCG industry, finance and accounting, tech consulting, etc, etc. The average salary for MEM graduates really varies uh, based on the industry they are getting into. On an average, the range lies anywhere between $80,000 to $110,000. There are graduates who um, you know, earn more than this average salary uh, based on their previous work experience. Now that we have understood what an MEM curriculum is and what are the job outcomes post-graduation, let's tackle the next big question that is who should apply for an MEM degree. MEM degree is a great fit for you if you are an engineering or sciences student or a working professional with less than five years of work experience who's looking to shift from core engineering to techno-managerial kind of job roles. As discussed earlier, having a UG degree in engineering or sciences is a must to apply for an MEM course. Now, if you are someone who is not from that background, you know, checking out uh, MIM programs, that is Masters in Management programs, which is offered by top European universities, is will be a great option for you. Or you can gain some sort of experience and directly apply for an MBA. Now, let's look at different universities that are offering MEM programs. 
To simplify the process for you, I have divided these universities into two categories. Number one category is the top universities category. Now, this category has highly selective universities uh, that are offering MEM programs such as the MIT, Stanford, Duke, Dartmouth, Johns Hopkins, Cornell, etc. Now, these are super selective and also expensive programs. If you have a great profile and do not have any budget constraints whatsoever, then these programs will be a great match for you and I highly recommend you apply to them. The other category of universities are also top quality universities which are less competitive and also less expensive than the top category ones. I have uh, categorized them into the budget friendly category. Now these universities include Texas A&M University College Station, um, you know University of South Florida which has a great program and is super budget friendly and also the Virginia Tech University. There are many other uh, universities that also fall under these categories. Um, just so that you know, we have guided many students to uh, universities across these two categories over the past uh, 10 years or so and uh, we have a pretty good record of getting students uh, admits into these universities. So if at all you're interested to get into uh, MEM programs, do get in touch with us. We know how to uh, you know, get you into these programs. Now, please remember that different universities offer the engineering management degree under different names. Some call it MS in technology management, some call it MS in systems engineering and management, some call it MS in management of technology, etc. These are all the same degrees under different names. So uh, please make a note of that. Now, here's my final verdict on whether you should or should not apply for a master's in engineering management. As discussed before, if you are uh, coming from a core tech background uh, and you want to explore and gain managerial skills, then engineering management will be a great fit for you. You can expect to move up the corporate ladder and also uh, get a boost in your salary. Um, whereas if you are someone who wants to stick to the core field, who wants to get jobs within the core field, then I would say engineering management might not be a great fit for you because many US universities are offering great number of specializations within the field uh, that you are interested in. So I suggest you check them out. That's it guys. I hope this was helpful. I made this video because a lot of you were asking me about uh, masters in engineering management. Uh, if you have any questions about engineering management, do drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you at the earliest. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for listening.